Hello, my name is Samantha Michaels, and for this experiment, I'm going to do option number two, which is the testing heat flow properties of household objects. So I have a pen, pencil, and my metal spoon. Right now, the spoon is definitely feeling the coldest, then the pen, and then the pencil. And first, pencil. Okay, so it's about to hit the one minute mark, so we'll go ahead and pick up the object. The spoon is feeling much colder than the pen and the pencil. I would say the spoon is feeling the coldest, then the pen, and then the pencil. Okay, so it's been five minutes, so we're going to do the same experiment again. So the spoon is the coldest right now, and then the pen, and then the wooden pencil. We're gonna go in again for another five minutes. So ten minutes just passed, so we're gonna take out all the objects again. We're gonna do the pen first. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the pencil. I definitely feel like the pen is colder than the pencil. And now the metal spoon. Metal spoon is by far the coldest. It's gonna be the metal spoon for the coldest, the pen, and then the pencil. So the metal, the plastic, and the wood. The metal spoon definitely felt the coldest out of the three objects. The pencil and the pen eventually felt like they were equally cold, but I would say that the plastic pen felt just a smidge colder than the pencil. Right away, I felt like the spoon was cold after the first minute. I felt like the pencil and the pen took a little bit longer to get cold. Overall, I feel like the metal spoon would be the best at facilitating the heat transfer just because the metal is a good conductor of heat versus the plastic and the wood are poor conductors of heat meaning that metals can conduct heat. However, for the object that would be best at insulating would be the plastic and the wood. This is because they are poor conductors of heat. They have low thermal conductivity. So overall, this was the result that I expected just from past experiences with metal and coldness. Everything went pretty smoothly in this experiment. The thing I would say about the experiment that surprised me the most was that the plastic got colder from than the wood. For some reason, I was expecting the opposite, maybe because this has a smaller mass. So heat transfers is really important in our everyday life, especially for cooking. When cooking, whether you're using a grill, a stove, an oven, heat is transferred directly to the food through absorption. And it's really important to be able to understand heat transfer in order to cook the food to a proper temperature, avoid overcooking and burning it, or undercooking it.